rally tonight at Union Square demanding the Adams administration reverse cuts that are expected to hit the Parks Department hard. This comes after the mayor announced his plan to slash the budget by nearly $55 million. And as Fox Eyes Linda Schmidt shows us, those, rally, those rallying tonight hope Mayor Adams will walk back those cuts as he has done for other agencies. Well, not only are the people who were at the rally hoping the mayor restores the money to the budget, so do most New Yorkers. I mean, I don't care what park you go to, people love the parks here in New York City. And they just do not like the thought that there could be a possibility of them deteriorating. New York people need a public refuge from their apartments, and these spaces are really essential for providing that. Lawrence Bai loves Madison Square Park, but some city leaders and park advocates say Mayor Adams' budget cuts have put city parks at risk. They rallied in Union Square, calling on the mayor to restore $55 million he slashed from the new budget, taking effect this summer. These advocates say it will mean fewer workers to maintain the parks. So what will that look like? Dirtier bathrooms, trash in our city's parks, unmowed lawn, untrimmed trees, rec centers that don't have programming. Manhattan Borough President Mark Levine maintains there is no reason the mayor cannot restore the $55 million, saying it represents a minuscule amount of the city's budget. We're down to 0.6% of the city's budget going to parks. Andrew Flippo is among many New Yorkers upset by the budget cuts. So disappointed by that. Uh, this is a real kind of oasis for people who live in the city. Like, look how beautiful it is, the trees, the garden, the fountain in the summer is magical. City Hall telling Fox 5 some funding has been restored for city parks, but these critics say it is not nearly enough to maintain the beauty and safety of city parks. In Union Square, Linda Schmidt, Fox 5 News. Mayor Adams was on the Lower East Side today showing NYCHA residents their drinking water is safe. The mayor downed a glass from the tap at the Reese houses before declaring, I love New York City water. His office posting the clip online about two years after people who live there were told they were drinking unsafe levels of arsenic. Adams says a symbolic gesture shows tenants he's willing to drink the same thing he's asking them to. Well, the teachers union urging the city to get on board with the reducing class sizes under state law. New York City's public schools have to create class with 25 or fewer students. Now, Tuesday, UFT President Michael Mulgrew pressed the DOE to get to work. There is funding in the new budget earmarked for city schools, and the union says there's room to make adjustments. We have 850 schools right now that already have the space, and all we need to do is hire additional staff for those schools to come into compliance with the class size law. UFT wants everyone to act as quickly as possible, but schools do have up to five years to find or build new space if needed. Well, some Westchester parents disappointed, to put it mildly, after they learned their Catholic school will be closing at the end of the year. Outside Richard Jacobus is in Tarrytown, where he spoke to some moms who are demanding answers. During his Teacher Appreciation Week, students were out for the day at Transfiguration School in Tarrytown. The windows of their classrooms decorated with signs to show just how much they love those teachers and their school as they face the reality that they won't be returning here in the fall. I'm really stressed now. It's hard to do my homework. I, I just keep thinking about my friends. I feel really sad. Mark Lanzetta is a seventh grader, about to enter his eighth grade graduation year at Transfiguration. But last week, right before the school was to celebrate its 75th year, the Archdiocese of New York sent parents an email informing them that Transfiguration will close permanently next month. The letter cites inability of some parents to pay tuition, along with, quote, severely low enrollment. I've been a parishioner here for oh, 25 years. It's in my, my church, it's in my school, it's been my life. Mark's mom, Judy, is now scrambling to find her son a school so he can complete eighth grade before advancing to high school. That would mean that he would have to attend three different schools over the next year and a half. Some of them are full, some are on wait list, and, and this is, we don't know where he's going to go or what we're going to do. 